that in thinking that you recently did a show with one of our friends, Sahara Beck? Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Now, can you tell our friends at home what you did before the gig to all get ready together? Uh, we were in Adelaide. Uh, we had two nights there, so we've managed to always play in Adelaide two nights in a row, and then we've now made a bit of a tradition where on one of the nights we'll just take the support bands and we'll go to an op shop that we find and yeah everyone just buys the most ridiculous stuff they can find. Oh, I love that, that so is much. Fantastic. Yeah, so. That is, that is such a good pre gig ritual. Yeah, it's amazing. It's we spent probably like two hours in this shop. The people at the counter were just like we just had the most massive pile of clothes. It's like, we'll take all that, please. Uh, <laughs> that's, what, what is it about about the hunt that you love in an op shop? That, that what is I, it? That, I get obsessed with it. I feel like I have to look through every single thing. Because it could be and hiding I, just be hiding. under the it next could one. Could be perfect. Like I picked up a pair of pants and I thought, this is these pants are so funny. And then I tried them on and I was like, I wear these pants every day. These are actually amazing. So it's like you never know what gems you're gonna find. You gotta shuffle through everything to find a good bargain. Yes, usually a one of a kind sort of piece totally. as well. Absolutely. And it's how you rock it that matters yeah. too, I yeah. think. Well, we were with uh, another support band that was on the tour called The Creases, and I would describe them as being a fairly fashion confident yeah. group of young men. Yes. So I feel like they gave us the extra. Oh, yeah. Edge they, that day. they picked amazing outfits, and yeah. they had probably the best gig of the whole tour. They were yeah. just like so confident with their outfits. <laughs> I love it. So they helped you curate your vintage shreds for the gear. Yeah, yeah, we all curate one another. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> now, can I ask, are you wearing anything today that you've either worn before, that is second hand, or that you've borrowed? Uh, yes, yes, I've worn. <laughs> I'm not wearing any new clothing. I've worn this yes! outfit many times. Uh, this is the first suit I ever bought. And, wow. Uh, that deserves that, a really big high five. That is a big high five. The first You're suit you ever star. bought. Yeah. Yeah. I'll high five. Yeah. Where did you oh, get I it? Uh, I did get it at Top Man, so I'm not sure if they're hugely <laughs> ethical, but at least I'm re-wearing it. Yeah, uh, that's so cool. And this shirt is definitely second hand, but I can't remember where I got it. There you go. Um, that's all right. But it's been wheeled boots, out. Which I got for free. Yes, oh, yeah. so good. And yeah. what about you? Are you wearing uh, anything you've worn I'm before? I'm wearing my go-to dress that I wear to weddings. Ah, so, yeah, I've worn it wedding dress. several times. I actually got it for to play ballpark music shows. So I've worn it many times at gigs, but then also it's my go-to wedding dress. So, you know, it's summer or winter, it doesn't really matter. I love it. I'm and I love your choice of shoes. We've got oh. gold sneakers on the red carpet. I'm wearing sneakers that I've worn for years. I love them, they're comfy and they're fun and they you know they, they bring a party. It's good. You deserve a high five too. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. That five. is a big high five. Now, Alrighty now. Speaking of like, yes. you know, you recycle shoes, you recycle fashion. Um, uh, do you guys dapple dapple in um, in the planting world, in the soil, uh, in the garden? In recycling your own food, food scraps maybe, recycle composting. Food. Well, I just stayed with my sister last night. She lives here in Sydney in Leichhardt. And I was like, you're the garden guy from the TV. <laughs> and her fiancé is an amazing gardener. Yeah, he is. Yeah, and so is his whole family. And I was like really blown away by their garden. So I do a little bit, but... Uh, you're my, pretty good. You my, have a backyard. Yeah, but my house backs onto a nature reserve, so like a lot of possums and bush turkeys uh, getting into my stuff. Uh, <laughs> yep. Tricky. Yeah. Hey, can I give you a tip? Sure. This is a hot tip. I haven't even put this out through my, my own feeds or let alone through Gardening <laughs> Australia. But you're hearing it first here. Green carpet exclusive. I was in Adelaide last weekend at the State Rose Garden and the geniuses there have come up with an idea where they get dog fur, like the smelliest, the sm not, not dogs that have been to the coiffure, like the smelliest dog fur oh, that you can them. rake up, yeah. yeah. A real dog. Put it in, put it in a, a, a bag that you get your onions in, or a bag that you get oranges in. Make a ball of it, and then put it on the post, or on the highway, on the fence line, or wherever it is that they that they run along. Put that there. If they smell dog, they won't come. That's a great tip. So there's a chance for your veggies. Yes. Yeah, go and find a wet, smelly dog. Now I can be like the weird guy on my street, like knocking on someone's door, like, can I please have your dog's fur? Like, I don't have my own dog. Oh, Dean's got a dog. Dean's Maybe got I a could dog. like yeah. go to his house and be like, 
So instead of going, oh my God, I hate this share house, there's so much fur, you're going there with your dust buster, vacuuming yeah. it all up. Now I'm going to have the best pot. roses. <laughs> <laughs> and best veggies. The possums will be... Devo. Possums won't be... <laughs> they will be yeah, totally they be I mean, oh, we can't get into his veggies anymore. Now, Costa, oh, yeah. I have a request for these beautiful people. Yep. Now, we're talking about compost and how much compost rocks. Much like that cycle, it's about the cycle of food nutrients. So we would love for you to please look down that camera there and introduce yourself to our followers around the world and say compost rocks. Okay, oh, easy. Awesome. Hello. <laughs> Hello, this is Jen and Sam from Four Part Music and we just want to tell you that compost rocks. It really does. Compost rocks. <laughs>